I'm continuing my workshop organization quest. I have tons of loose bits in drawers. I have a whole bunch of cases that have some bits in them, but that's, they're not a full kit. Uh, so I'm just taking them all out and I'm creating one place where all of my driver bits will be. I used a piece of pegboard as my base. Then I created a grid drawing lines in between the holes that already were existed. And then I drilled new holes at every intersection. Then I went over to my drill press and drilled all of the new holes and all of the old holes because the holes in a pegboard are not actually large enough for a bit to seat into. It was a lot of drilling. So my shoulder was killing me after I don't know, it was probably only five minutes because I'm a wuss. I finally stood on a step stool because my drill press is on my assembly table, so it was super high. That made it a little bit easier. And I had the whole thing backed with a piece of scrap board to help prevent that from happening. But that melamine just tore out, so I don't know, that's another issue with using pegboard. Since you have to drill all the holes, you really could just use a quarter inch MDF which is basically what you're left with after you sand all of that melamine off, and it was just extra work. I put little cleats in the side of my drawer so my bit storage can slide on top of it. I just wanna check the width and make sure that it's the right size before I finish it off. I used a piece of quarter inch plywood and cut it to the same size as the bit storage piece that I already prepared. Then I'll cut little strips of that same plywood to put around the perimeter, creating a little pocket so that the bits can seat down in there without falling through, but they'll be secured deep enough that they won't be all wobbly. These pieces are super small and I don't have any nails that are short enough. I have 23 gauge pin nailer, but I don't have short, short nails. So I used glue and tape and whatever odd things I had sitting around within arm's reach to weight the pieces down until the glue dried. And I just glued them around the perimeter and then glued the top piece on. I didn't worry about making the pieces the exact right size because I just trimmed it up later. I secured the cleats to the drawer with glue. I actually took the ones I showed you earlier and cut them down to create a pocket for a cross brace because I wanted to create a little compartment in the front of the drawer. I sanded the top edges and corners of these braces to create a really smooth surface for the bit storage tray to slide on. So I made sure that I put that part up. And then after all of that, I decided to just cut a piece of plywood that would run from the front of the drawer all the way to the back. And I glued and nailed that in place. I just didn't want the tray ever catching on the seams where the divider was. Sometimes I overdo things, but I mean, better to overdo it than underdo it, right? Then I test fit my tray in the drawer and decided I needed a front and back piece so that I could grab a hold of something to pull it back. I used scraps of plywood and just used my miter saw to cut the ends off at an angle. Then I sanded those into a little rounded edge with my sander. Finished that off by hand, making sure that the edges were very smooth because I hate sharp edges and slivers. I used a little glue and some clamps and some nails to secure my front and back pieces in place. Then I sanded the edges that would ride on the rails and added a little wax because I wanted to make sure that that puppy would slide smoothly. While I had the wax out, I decided to also wax the rails and the entire drawer, because why not? The only thing left to do is sort and organize all of my bits. I pulled up my shop stool and sat there for who knows how long and organized. I was quite methodical about it. I sorted by type and by size, which may seem over the top to some, but I don't think it is. All of the different types of bits come in lots of different sizes, and if you're gonna organize to this level, you might as well know exactly what is where. So I went from small to large, left a little space for growth, and then did a new type. And voila, now I know exactly where to go to get whatever I need. And the great thing is I still have tons of space in this drawer to do all kinds of other storage, which I'll show you next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.